89 cc chainsaw Dan with Kane Custom Garage and today we're gonna look at the legendary Husqvarna 2100 chainsaw look at that beast so yeah we'll take a look at her and sort of go over some of the facts and features fire it up see how she sounds and then we'll take it out to the wood pile and see how she cuts so yeah, let's check it out. Ah, the distinct sound of the 2100. Yeah, this thing is so cool. It's got, they got a pop to her. But yeah, so this is the uh, Husqvarna 2100 CD 99cc chainsaw. These were built from 1979 to 1987. And these were like the big boy back in the day. Lots of torque. And this one um, we're fixing up for one of our chainsaw buddies. He's a big part of the chainsaw community, Justin Weaver. He's always wanted one of these 2100s, so I put crank seals in it, carb kit in it, just sort of went over the whole thing, and she seems to be running good now. And so yeah, the Husqvarna 2100 CD, the CD stands for Capacitive Discharge, I guess. I guess it's basically their version of electronic ignition, and it has... It has the fuel and oil load on the side there. It has the manual oiler. And it also has automatic oiling. It has the uh, safety trigger lock. And it also has the throttle lock for starting, starting her up easier. We put the double dogs on it. It's got the big full wrap handle. This one has a 32 inch bar, but according to the uh, specs on this thing, you could run up to a 60 inch bar on this thing, which is crazy. But yeah, just a big old beast of a saw. And this one has, I think it's 3 8 chain, but I guess they came with 3 8 or 404. Yeah, they got the big muffler with the big outlet on it. Yeah, just a big old beast of a saw. Heavy sucker, too. But they got some pull. Lots of torque. Not a whole lot of um, RPM, but they got some pull. So see, there's a look at the back. So the Husqvarna's, it always sort of confused me. So the O is off, and the I, which you can't see on this one, is ignition. So it's ignition and off. It's a little confusing. They could have just done an on off switch but that's how they did it and then I, I busted out my lettering brushes and did a little hand lettering on it I'm a little rusty but it looks pretty cool I thought it would be cool give her a little something so yeah let's take a look under the hood see what this thing looks like and so yeah we had to Fix the plastics on this and repaint them. They're all busted and cracked. It's got a pretty good size air cleaner on it. Carburetor's under there. Oh yeah, and here's a peek under the air cleaner. The air cleaner just comes off with two screws. I've had the carburetor on and off this thing a few times, so. I'm getting pretty good at it now, I'm trying to get the uh, metering level just right on it. These things are a little finicky, but I think I got her now. So see, there's the carburetor. The old Tillotson made in Ireland. So yeah, pretty simple setup. Pretty easy to work on. And then just three screws takes the whole top cover off so you can get to the spark plug and all that. So let's take it out to the wood pile and see how she cuts. Okay guys, here's the old 2100. 
Let's fire her up and see how she does. Come on, baby. Okay, adjusted her a little bit more. Let's try her again. What a beast of a saw, guys. The old 2100. That is cool. And if you want to see another video, I have an older video of a 2101 that I had a few years back. And it's basically the same saw, but I think it's the newer version. I'm not even sure what the difference is on them, really. But I got a video of a 2101 that I'll put a link to up above there if you want to check that out. So there it is, the legendary 2100, guys. Thanks for watching. And Justin, you lucky dog.